Sometimes you make mistakes when you're woodworking. Sometimes those mistakes are a bit more dangerous than other times, and sometimes you get to learn from those mistakes. My name is Caleb, and today I will be talking about the things I learned after making this dangerous mistake on the lathe. I hope you'll stick around for another episode of Second Son Woodworks. See you soon. I think the first thing that I learned after making that dangerous mistake on this Craftsman lathe was to know the tool that you're working with. Whether that be this Craftsman manual, I was able to find a manual for this tool on the internet after, unfortunately, I couldn't find the paper edition that was given with the tool when I bought it. But I was able to find the edition on the internet and utilizing that as well as other articles and videos about general lathe use has been extremely helpful. Um, and the best part about knowing your tool is that it will make you a better operator of the tool. You'll, you'll be more effective with its use uh, and it will be less difficult and it will be safer. So know your tool. I'd say the second thing that I learned after making that mistake was to always turn off the tool before making any sort of adjustments to the workpiece, uh, especially in the case of this lathe. What happened was is I tried to move the tool rest, which you'll see me do a number of times throughout this video. I, I would just move the tool rest while it was turning to try to save time uh, turning it off, moving the tool rest, and then... Uh, continuing on but that was dangerous and it ended up you know leading to me breaking the spindle on the lathe because when I tried to move the tool rest it got caught and then it slipped uh, and I pushed it into the spindle and it ended up actually snapping the spindle so uh, yeah turn off your tool anytime you need to make an adjustment turn it off and and if it is something like a table saw, you should also unplug it, just to be extra safe. Be safe. Another maybe more obvious thing that I learned after making this mistake on the lathe uh, is to always wear protection. This is something that's true in many areas of our lives and when it comes to woodworking there's a lot of protection that you need to wear. Uh, you should wear some sort of eye protection uh, whether that be goggles uh, or this face shield. You should also wear respiratory, respiratory protection, uh, some sort of face mask especially if you're working with a lot of sawdust um, and you should uh, protect your ears um, because if you're making loud noises which this lathe is actually pretty loud uh, it's a good idea to put some sort of earplugs in and you can see also that I ended up getting a complete face mask shield and this thing has been awesome I definitely recommend utilizing one of these if you're working on a lathe It's also a great idea to make sure that you maintain your tools, whether that be 
You use lathe cutting tools, they should always be sharp, or a table saw blade, you should always make sure that that is sharp, that it's well maintained. If you need to oil a tool, make sure that you oil the tool. Uh, make sure your tool is well maintained because then it will operate correctly and you'll be even safer. You should also always take your time. Fast is fine, but accuracy is everything. Why herb? Anyways, it's a good idea to take your time when you're working with dangerous tools. One little rush could cost you a limb, and you don't want that. So take your time. Just enjoy it. Enjoy every step in the process of utilizing the tool that you're utilizing. So I'm going to play back this mistake one more time for you so that we can all learn a little bit more from my mistake. <laughs> Seriously. Well, this was definitely a frustrating mistake. It put me behind when it came to finishing the bar cart, which if you haven't checked out the other videos about this bar cart, check them out. But the fortunate thing is I was able to learn from this mistake. I didn't lose a limb, I didn't get very hurt. Um, so I'm grateful for that. And I hope that you were able to learn just a bit about learning from your mistakes by watching this episode of Second Side Woodworks. Well, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, check out my Instagram and TikTok and Facebook, get in the shop, build something cool.